Hey guys, it's Jordan the Cheap Geek with the Love of Tech podcast doing a review of the iRig mic for the GadgetGurus.net. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this great new product from IK Multimedia called the iRig mic. And this is a condenser microphone uh, exclusively for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Uh, and what makes this unique is that it actually allows you to record through the headphone jack while still listening to what you're recording. And that's something very important that I'm doing right now with my Blue Yeti microphone that I use to record some of my videos and all my podcasts. Um, that previously on you know iOS microphones, you didn't get. They just plugged into the headphone jack or plugged into the dock connector and didn't give you a lot of feedback. And this really does. So let's go ahead and see what you get in the package. Now this retails for sixty dollars um, and is available on many websites and is comes with and I'm air quoting here comes with a couple of iOS apps called Vocalive and I believe they have a recorder app too uh, and really when it comes with these you purely get um, access just like everyone else does to the free versions that are available on the App Store. So inside you get the microphone in a nice red plastic container. You get a faux leather carrying case, which while a little chintzy and a little cheap, is nice for holding this and keeping it protected. And you get a standard uh, threaded microphone input. Uh, and this works, um, you know, like you'd expect it to. Um, and hold your mic on a microphone stand. Uh, and it, it works really well. I have a another universal microphone stand that came with um, my boom arm. It's actually right here. Uh, and this one actually works as well. Um, it actually, in my opinion, fits a little better because it allows you to get a little more... Um, in fact, actually, now that I look at this, this is actually the one that comes with the iRig iMic. Um, as you can see, it fits a lot snugger and closer to the top. Um, it has two threaded inserts. Um, it has a standard threaded insert and then it has this a little um, adapter that allows you to use smaller threads. So my apologies. This is actually the one that came with my boom arm which is essentially the same thing. But the main attraction here is the microphone. So let's go ahead and take a tour here. This is a condenser style, style microphone. Um, it has all metal construction at the top. It actually weighs a pretty good amount. Um, it, it's just the right weight. It feels high quality, but doesn't feel cheap and doesn't feel cumbersome. Um, you have a three um, toggle or three position switch here to control the gain. Um, you have actually high, medium, and low. Um, and I feel that this is mislabeled. Um, and what they're indicating here is when you're speaking quietly or recording quiet sounds, you want it on this setting. Um, which is going to be very high gain, so you can actually hear them. And when you're speaking or recording loud things, you want it on this setting. Uh, to me, that's backwards. Um, this indicates to me that you want high volume. This is low volume. But frankly, in my testing, you always want to keep it on the middle setting anyway. Um, you get a nice long cord. I believe this is about four feet, five feet long. And this is really part of the um, what makes this so cool. So you get a three-prong um, headphone jack at the end of the microphone cord. Um, and this allows you two standard pins for audio, which I'll get to in a minute. And this third pin, actually this third pin at the top, a ring actually, that allows control. So it allows input to be sent to the device. So this can be from a microphone like this, uh, even uh, muting and playback and volume controls like you'd get on your iOS headset. What's cool about this is you actually get another three and a half uh, millimeter headphone jack or an eight millimeter headphone jack um, that lets you listen to audio while you're recording audio. Uh, and this is very useful when you want to monitor what you're saying so you can make sure you're not speaking too loudly, too quiet, things like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you would use this in practice. Now I'm going to be demoing this on my iPad because I'm recording on my iPhone. And I'm not going to use any of their included applications. Uh, and this is mainly because they're not very good. Um, they're all available free with paid upgrades 
on the App Store. Um, and the few I tried were a little buggy, didn't offer that much functionality, and had very bad UIs. Um, and if you know me, you know I'm a big UI guy. So um, I, I went straight to Apple, who makes very good UIs, and I'm going to test this with GarageBand. Now, frankly, their apps cost um, $10, um, so GarageBand is the same price. Obviously, it doesn't work on the iPhone, but if you're using the iPad, I don't think you can miss. So let me go back to... Um, let's go ahead and create a new song. And we're going to scroll over on the iPad to the voice recorder. Now, built in, you can see this arrow currently is pointing to the built in mic, which is right here on the device. And you can see the meter as I speak. You can see it pick up my voice and move. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to the headphone jack. Okay, and you can see the iPad has switched over to indicate that it's using a input mic. And you can see we're getting very little um, movement on the VU meter until I bring the mic all the way up to my voice and you can see it start to work. Um, one other really nice feature is you can hit this little input button here and you can actually turn monitoring on. And this is what makes this so cool. So now that monitoring is on, I can plug a headset into this port and listen to what I'm saying as I'm recording it. So let's go ahead and do a test recording that I'll fade in right here. All right, so I am now recording this on the iRig mic, and we're going to cut this into the review. And hopefully it sounds very crisp, much better, and much less noisy than you would get with the built-in microphone. And this is going to be great for doing interviews. You could even podcast on the new Skype iPad app with this. And just do a lot of very cool things. Um, and the recording is now stopped, and you can set what that maximum recording time is. Um, well, we'll go ahead and cut that back to the normal mic now. And what's cool is you can do different effects on this as well and, and build this into a GarageBand project and, and build songs around beats and other instruments like pianos. You can even hook a guitar up to this with the iRig Amplitude, which is another product that they make, and play guitar directly into your iPad. But overall, I'm really happy with this microphone. At $60, it's a very good accessory to have, especially if you do recordings and podcasts and videos a lot. Um, frankly, it's really nice just to have if you're going to shoot any type of amateur video on your iPhone. This just makes for a much, much better experience with a microphone. Now, if you're doing lots of distant shots and you want better ambient noise, this really isn't the best choice because this is designed to pick up close-range audio. Um, I found that the actual built-in microphones work better for large ambient areas like a sporting event or outdoor areas. But if you're doing an interview, conversation, um, trying to record, um, you know, maybe an interaction between children, recording your baby's first words or something, this microphone really can add to that experience and give you a lot better audio quality. So definitely check out this product. Head over to their website and tell them that the Gadget Guru sent you. And um, that's all I've got for you guys. So go ahead and check this mic out, and we will see you next time. Later. Bye.